invite the next speaker of the inaugural session, Dr. Nadir M. Nagarkar, Director and CEO, Ames Raipur. Dr. Nagarkar, your thoughts on this particular subject, how technology can be uh, uh, can play a very important role uh, to change the public healthcare landscape, especially in the new world order beyond pandemic. Your take on that. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Goswami, and thanks again uh, to uh, Sri G.K. Arora for inviting us for this uh, wonderful panel discussion. My uh, special regards to the Chief Guest uh, and Honorable uh, Minister Saab, and uh, he has spoken so well and really set the tone. Uh, we also welcome Professor Sarman Singh, Dr. D.K. Sharma, Dr. Arora, and all the other uh, uh, leading specialists and guests and uh, delegates and participants. So I think it's a wonderful topic that you have chosen where we are talking about the healthcare innovation and in coming times that's actually going to be a game changer. So we are living in very exciting times where uh, the demands for the health sector have been growing and growing remarkably. The COVID pandemic has shown that the non-communicable diseases are here but the communicable diseases never go away. So whether it is the western world or the developing world, everybody is going to require healthcare innovation to take it to the next level. And when we refer to this, we refer to the developed world as well as to the developing world. Obviously in the developing world, the challenges are even more, but I'm sure that healthcare as the cutting sector technology available, whether it is for development of biosensors or new investigations or new molecules, it's going to play a role. At the same time, you require low cost technology, which is easily available to the masses. And I'm sure that uh, we have a great uh, IT platform in our own country. We've got some of the finest minds in the healthcare sector as well. Uh, we should all pool in our resources along with, of course, now the global networking, which is available. And we can really take this uh, to the next level. Uh, as regards uh, innovation, I think it's the youngsters who need to start developing it in the incubation centers in uh, the government of India has set up a large number of national institutes now. There are some uh, the, the ones which are origin, uh, originally been functioning for the last uh, three, four decades also. New ones have come up. So we should collaborate with the IITs and the IIMs and the AIMS and other national institutions along with the private sector. So until and unless you have an academ academia and uh, industry interface, we cannot develop new products. So new products in the field of electronics, in nanotechnology, using artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things. Actually, the future is so exciting. Uh, we should all of us come together. And I think uh, discussions like today's uh, really help us, uh, these minds come together and uh, chart, uh, you know, programs, what we can do and what are the requirements. Prof. Uh, Singhdev Saab has already uh, mentioned very well what are the requirements in a, in a state like Chhattisgarh. And I think that's true for most of the parts of the country. And with large swaths of the country uh, requiring basic healthcare also, I think that's where technology has a huge role to play, whether it is telemedicine, teleradiology, telepathology, and so on and so forth. Of course, uh, like he rightly said, that the human touch in the medical field will always be required, uh, especially for uh, even if you have uh, robotic machines, but the surgical skill requires the presence of the doctor next to the patient. However, for follow-up or initial diagnosis, Definitely, uh, telemedicine and teleconsultation has a huge role to play. Uh, I think whenever the discussion goes forward, we will obviously touch upon the, weather, uh, the various uh, legal, ethical, and moral issues that are there with uh, this kind of development. But I'm sure that uh, the legal aspects will also be modified accordingly. And uh, as I said, again, we are living in exciting times. The demands are many, but still, I think we have the wherewithal. And if we all team up together, we can definitely make a difference. And I think uh, technology, a lot of technology is already available. It's now just to be put into the right place, uh, utilize it properly so that we have the best benefit. So thank you very much and uh, wonderful discussions, I'm sure, in the next uh, three days. Uh, congratulations uh, to the PAC group uh, for conducting this uh, workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Nitin and Nagarka, Director and CEO in Raipur. And we all know what wonderful work has been done in AIMS. Uh, but uh, you, as you rightly said, that uh, future is exciting, especially with the advent of new age technologies like AI, IoT, robotics, ML. They are, they are, they are not only they will change the 
healthcare landscape, but they have already started changing the healthcare landscape. But I like that part when you said that human touch will be important always for healthcare delivery. But I guess I just take a cue from what you said. I just add one point of mine. Maybe human touch coupled with tech touch, that is the future. I think the coexistence of both human touch and tech touch has to be there to improve the healthcare delivery in this country in the new world order. Thank you so much, Dr. Nitin M. Nagarkar.